Poe Boys. Welcome to Poe Boys. Welcome to Poe Boys. Welcome to Poe Boys. Welcome to Poe Boys. In this video, we're putting the engine in Yeet. Hit that like button if you liked it, and enjoy the freaking video. So the first footage that you're gonna see of Yeet is the interior footage because I accidentally deleted the footage of that. I'll explain that in a minute, and then I'll also show basically what's all under the hood. But that's a little further in the video, so keep watching. All right, guys. So I have the interior right here, and obviously the airbags were deployed, and that airbag deployed right there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the wiring harness out, and we're gonna go ahead and take the dash out so we're gonna have to take all these bezels out the radio and all that stuff we're not taking all this stuff with us we're just taking it out so we can go ahead and get the ecu out and the dash out so we can get all the wiring harness out of here We're starting the day off at Tits. We went over to Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems, which y'all know as Tits, and everyone else knows as Tits because that's a lot funner to say than Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. Why yeah, <laughs> we got uh, Tits over here on the back of my rear end up here. Oh, golly. Just <laughs> hitting everything on the way down. Literally. See, there we go. Y'all know this from the previous video. Y'all have seen this car before. Go click up there if you want to see it. And if you haven't seen it, this car is Sean's car, which you'll see on Sean's channel. He's been doing a lot of videos on his channel lately, and he's yeah. been doing a ton of stuff to this car. So he's already taken it, had a full roll cage put in it which y'all haven't seen on my videos but you can see it on Sean so go ahead and click up there and watch I would I would venture to say this is this is definitely the most insane C6 Corvette build in the world today. We're just gonna put it this way. It is a C6, and if you don't know anything about Corvettes or anything, it's gonna be a stick shift car, and that's just a Fab 9 right yeah, there. So if you know anything about Corvettes, you already know that that's just wrong. Yeah, the, the, the transmission just does not go in the front. <laughs> we put it up here, because that's the way it's supposed to be. This is the OG style. We're trying to make a real drag car out of this thing. Hell yeah. Damn, Ooh. that is a Dope looking. Ooh, what if that was on the freaking Mustang, son? I need to get me some thick boys like this for the Mustang. Thick boys. Oof. So Sean is basically going to have his whole underside of his car powder coated. Everything that they put inside of there, it was all just putting inside of there to get it mocked up, to make it look right, make sure everything's good. And they're past that point. Now they're to the point where everything needs to come out, get painted, it's all fabricated up and all done. All it's gotta do is get painted and then put back in, tightened up and... This be about to be fresh. Facts. Go to his channel if you want to see the colors he's going with, but he's going to go with something pretty cool. I guess we're going to start the process of taking everything out of this car. Sean's getting this other wheel off, and I'm just kind of following along the way. Being my puppy dog today. I will say, I will say, me and Sean do have something. You know how a while ago I said we were working on something? It involves Sean. It does involve me. That's hint number two. You can still guess down below. No one's gotten it. But it does involve Sean. If you get it right, he'll pin your comment and you get a free Next Shift t-shirt. You just gotta DM me on Instagram. <laughs> if it's correct. And it has to be specifically correct. And it's not It's not too hard, but it is. it has to be specifically correct. And the people can find me on Instagram at Next Shift. Just NXT Shift. Anything on the shirt. Ooh, them shirts. These are my old style shirts. Got some new ones coming out and they're gonna be even doper. Yeah, the new ones coming out are gonna be dope. I'm gonna definitely have to get a few doper of these. A word? Doper is now a word. Doper, doper is a word. Doper. Doper. Monster breaks. Those things are nice. Those really are nice. So you have Mosier back here and you have the Corvette ones up there? Or you... Well, basically Aerospace doesn't even make brakes for my car. But I found this guy, he was selling some brakes for a Corvette. Aerospace, he said they got custom made. They got here, long story short, they did not fit like they were told. Ah. Uh. We're gonna see if, uh, if Aerospace can fix that for me, I'm not sure. Hopefully they can. Hopefully they can. I still have to call them and you know how that goes. And send emails back and forth. Yes, it's a process. There's so many processes to life. One thing that I learned a lot growing up, and I've, I'm 21 now, so I'm still learning a whole bunch as I go, is I've learned that there is so much stuff that goes into everything. And there's a whole backside, especially the videos and whatnot. Y'all only see like 10, 20 minutes of what goes down out of a week of our life. And I'm telling you, we go through a ton of crazy stuff. We really We're always just out here doing the most. But in the meantime, we build race cars and have fun with cars. And that is definitely one of the things that 
keeps us going. Man, I can't wait to see this thing up on the road and actually doing stuff and at the drag strip doing wheelies. It's oh, gonna be man. weird to see a Corvette doing a wheelie down a drag strip. It's gonna do wheelies, trust me. Viking. Viking cool all of us. Yeah, those things are nice. Vikings always look just the best. It's that billet aluminum. It's really what it is. Now it's time to take a whole four lane Corvette apart. So we've been putting this thing together for months. We finally got it and it should come apart within just a few minutes. This is revolutionary considering that if you wanted to rebuild a diff and say a Corvette of this year beforehand, you would have to drop the entire transmission, you the entire cradle, the, front, the torque like, tube, the everything. you'd have to be up under there taking stuff out in order to take out something in a diff back here. You have to take out the bell housing up front in the clutch in order to take out the diff for a Corvette. So he fixed all those problems. That's a fat nine out of a Corvette. Who knew they did that? And I think we got the one of one random Corvette that has a straight axle in it. Sean, do you think that we should be suing Chevy for this? Well, they put Ford parts in there. Why would they put Ford parts inside of a Chevy? I don't know, but that thing's tits, bro. That thing is tits. <laughs> so we've got the back half of the car pretty much out. Sean's taking the brakes off of this axle right here so we can go ahead and get everything off of it so it can be good for powder. We've got the four link bars right here, the any roll bar right there that basically what's the sway bar. And everything up under here is basically completely out of the car. Now he's gonna go ahead and get all this painted. He's gonna take these Viking shocks out of here and get all this painted one solid color so that way the frame of this car is one solid color. And then this right here is where stuff's gonna get fancy. Yeah. 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 I wanna cut, 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 move you down to the... <laughs> Anything possible if you can just believe. <laughs> And next thing you know, there is there is the straight axle for his vet. There it is, right there. <laughs> Taylor's finishing some welds on the rear end right there, and then... Off to powder. Off to powder. Man, this thing's moving forward so freaking fast, I cannot freaking wait to see it whenever it's done. Quick set of 10. ten. Go. 10? 10. Oh, shit. <sighs> <laughs> She's barely touching his head on every time. <laughs> Still feet down. Hey. Quarantine 2020. We ain't worried about no gyms. We, <laughs> got, we got four link Corvettes to do pull ups on. Yeah, pull up bars right shop. there. And he doesn't care <laughs> at all because his insurance got us. That's literally his face. That's so funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Turbo King right here. Oh my goodness, look at this boat. Golly, that is such a nice... Ooh. So we have a few things we're gonna go ahead and put on the Mustang on the back side of it. If you look at the trunk right here, this light is really old and just like crusty and it's just sun faded. That happens over time. So I got a replacement one that, for that that's black. I also got a blackout for this whole panel right here. Everything from here down should be black. And then I also have letters for Mustang right here. I'm gonna be able to spice up this rear end that looks like, I mean, the, these lights look really good with this color, but it's just kind of bland. There's just too much blue, not enough black. And this just looks crusty, making the whole car kind of look bad. So. I have some stickers right here. This says USA, which is actually pretty dope because they're supposed to spell Mustang and you don't spell Mustang that way, but they wanted to say USA on it. But there's all the Mustang letters. I got one for this car and one for that car, as well as one of these, which are blacked out third brake lights. Just got it off of eBay. Super cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that, but it's going to do its job very well. And it comes with 3M tape and it's pretty nice. Looks way better than the one we've got on there currently. So that'll look a ton better. So put this here and I guess I'm going to start by putting the stickers inside. Yeah, I'm going to put these stickers in. Love you, baby. Dang, I really hope I get these things straight, son. That would be so would suck if I didn't. Wow. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It's carbon fiber sticker, which I mean, honestly, I would have preferred it to be gloss black, but the carbon fiber one was the only one I could find for pretty cheap. And I didn't want to pay like 60 bucks for a sticker that said Mustang. I mean, it's super cheap to do. And I just got the carbon fiber one because I mean, we'll say it's lighter. Horsepower stickers. There we go. Okay, now that looks a lot better already, just like that. Now, there that goes. It's supposed to be two bolts, but I only have one for some reason. Got this nice 3M double-sided tape. All right, so have that piece in there. Now I gotta pull these nipples off of the threads. 
All right, then I have to bolt that in on the other side, which will just be a 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna use a different one because I only have one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another. Now for the last part, we're gonna be putting these guys on. All right, so we looked at it and we decided, me and Keaton, that we're just gonna freaking leave it the way it is. Don't wanna deal with all those right now. We might do it on the drift car maybe, but that's gonna end up, we're not, we're not talking about it right now. But what we're gonna do is look at this right here. The freaking rear end of the car finally looks good. It looks like the whole car is kind of finished. That was the only part of the car that never really got done because we wanted to put the stickers inside of there and I never ordered the stickers and I never ordered the light, but I finally did. So now we have that and now the car looks pretty solid and pretty much everything looks done as far as the whole entire car. So now let's go to the engine bay. In here we have the 4.6 Caleb's car from that black car right there, which everything is out of that car that we need. That car is completely empty of everything I need and we're about to freaking sell it to a guy that said he wanted to buy it. This right here is obviously the 4.6. What we're gonna go ahead and do is run the exhaust probably out the back for now, but I don't know. We maybe, if we're feeling fancy, might run it out the front. But either way, it's just the exhaust is right there. The engine's in the car. We have to hook up the wiring harness. We have to hook up the ECU and do all that stuff. And that's going to be freaking it. The car is going to be going after that. But for now, we just have to wait. I have it all in there. So there's a lot of stuff that happened. And it was a lot of hard, hot, sweaty work. All right, guys. So I do have some bad news to give to you. And I'm really apologetic to say this. But all of the footage of putting this beautiful... 4.6 inside of this car and taking it out of that car all got deleted. All we did was lift the car up and put the engine inside of here. We took all the front pieces off of it. I have some Snapchat videos that I'll go ahead and drop right here on the side. I mean, the engine's in already. I'm not going to take it back out to get another shot, but I mean, man, it's a bummer. I lost the footage and I wasn't expecting to. I accidentally formatted a card and the footage was on that card. I am extremely sorry, guys, that I don't have the complete footage of getting the engine and trans in we pulled the engine and trans uh just in one piece all of the footage was there and i had everything but uh this definitely is a hard one i want to let y'all know that it'll be made up here soon this car will be here running and it's going to be a great time without further ado thank y'all very much for watching have a great one remember to freaking send it be great